Hello friends. Today we are going to study about area of sector and segment. So first we should know what is sector and segment. If we want to cut pizza, there is a different method and if we want to break a biscuit, then there is a different method. Means a circle can be divided into two ways. Look here. We can cut a circle like this also and we can cut a circle like this also. Because if we want to cut a pizza, look here, we will cut it in this shape but we will not cut a pizza like this. And if we want to break a biscuit, we cannot break a biscuit like this directly. We have to break it like this. So we need to study both these areas. So first we should know that this is sector, a pizza which we cut, it is in the form of sector and if we want to break a biscuit, it is in the form of segment. First we are going to find the area of sector. We know these are the two radiuses and this is the smaller part of a circle and this is the bigger part of the circle. So this smaller part of the circle when we cut it in the form of sector, this is called minor sector and the remaining part that is called major sector. If we want to find the area of minor sector. We are having a simple formula theta by 360 into pi r square. We know that area of the circle is always pi r square. Now we know that we had divide, we want this part. So this is one of the fractions of the circle. We take this part as theta. So we know whole circle give you angle of 360 degree and this is a part out of that 360 degree. So it is a fraction theta out of 360. So here also we are doing the same thing. We are taking theta upon 360 into pi r square. So we will get the area of this part. This is called the minor part. So area of minor sector. If we want to find the area of major sector, we can find directly we can also find that find out first area of circle then minus area of minor sector then also we can go or we can directly do subtract also area of major sector we can use the same formula but now our theta will become this or we can do right directly, directly like this also 360 minus theta upon 360 into pi r directly also if we want to directly if we if it is this is 60 degree so we know that the total is 360 360 minus 60 300 so we can directly put 300 upon 360 into pi r square now we are going to study about segment first we had find out area of minor sector here in segment what is the problem do you know we cannot directly find out area of segment as it is not related with directly with the center. We know we, in circle if we want to find anything we need radius. And in, if we want to find only this part without the help of radius we cannot find out this. So what we are going to do? First we will make it as a sector. Look here. This is a sector. And if I find out the area of triangle, then first I will find out the area of sector. Then I will find out the area of triangle. Then if I will subtract this area of sector minus area of triangle, I will get area of this segment. So simple area of segment or you can say minor segment. is equal to area of minor sector minus area of triangle look here here I had shown this in this 
three figures, three angles. This is 60 degree, this is 90 degree, and this is 120 degree. So why I had taken this? In this chapter you will get either 60, 90 or 120 only. Whenever 60 degree is there, we can find out the area of this triangle with the help of a equilateral triangle as we know these two are radius so these two angles will be also equal so it will form a equilateral triangle so you can find out area of equilateral triangle with the help of that formula which formula area of equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 upon 4 a square find out the area of sector then with the help of root 3 upon 4 a square you can find out this area then you have to subtract it here it is a right angle triangle so this will be your height and this will become your base so find out first area of sector then minus this area you will get this segment as it is 90 degree directly half into base into height but the problem comes here this is 120 degree so directly you cannot find out the area of this first you have to divide it and you will get a perpendicular bisector here so with the help of trigonometry this will become 60 degree you can find out this base and then this height also because we they will provide us radius so with the help of that radius we will find this height and this base so again we will take half into height into base and then we can find the area of this triangle then from the sector subtract this triangle then you will get the area of this segment so this way you can find out if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button given below so it will encourage me to make such more videos thank you